Virginia this morning. Good morning. Welcome back. Almost 945. They called it the noble experiment, but prohibition began increasingly difficult for the government to control, which led to its repeal in 1933. Then just one year later, in 1934, Virginia established a liquor control plan, which later became known as the Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control. Well, Commissioner Susan Swecker joins us for a look back at 75 rich years of the ABC. Good morning, Susan. Good, Good morning. Good to see you. You brought quite the interesting prop with you. I'm kind of intrigued. This is actually when uh, one of our citizens found out we were celebrating our 75th year, uh -huh. offered this jug of confiscated whiskey up for display down at the Library of Virginia. And this, we think, goes back probably to the early 1940s. Wow. Susan, what does the ABC do? Other than just people would see the ABC signs at a store where they sell mm -hmm. liquor. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's actually really interesting. Uh, we have three goals, service, control, and revenue. So while we operate 333 stores in Virginia, we also have a law enforcement component. We have 130 agents that work with our licensees. Uh, we have a hearings and appeals department. Uh, we have a seven acre warehouse full of alcohol here in the central office in Virginia that is distributed to these stores. Uh, we are a very interesting, diverse, multifaceted agency and also have a uh, big education department where we spend a lot of time uh, on educating uh, young people about underage drinking and also um, this new hidden older epidemic about senior citizens who can fall into the drinking a little too much and not realizing. And it's one of those things that's different depending on which state you go. Obviously it's our Correct. state board, but I think sometimes people will notice when they go on vacation in other places, different states handle this area differently? Well, they do, and one of the things when I came on the board uh, back in February of 2006, uh, I was surprised to learn that w there were more uh, liquor stores in the District of Columbia than they were in the state of Virginia. Really? And that comes back to your control issue. Mm -hmm. Tell us, we have some pictures, I think, coming up here, don't we? Yes, we do. Well, what, we are we here? Here? Where are, what are we Isn't looking at here? Early this is, Yes, I'm sorry, this is... Um, is this the early um, store? Agents or the first store, I believe, yeah. that was uh, in 1934, ABC opened its first four stores in Virginia. And this was what you would, used to have to go up to the counter and order what you want, and they would serve you. Now our stores, you, you are just like any other retail operation where you can browse and select your product mm -hmm. and, and look, look at the merchandise. That's a neat picture. What's this one? All right, this I love this picture because it reminds me of a grade B movie. Uh -huh. But um, back in the day, we also used to have a laboratory where when products <laughs> would come in, we had the uh, chemist look at them to make sure that they were uh, uh, worthy and that they were made of the right whatever so that they could be sold. Interesting. But I, do, I love that. Now, we still do that today with new products, but it's done downtown. In a different lab. And this is uh, Colonel right. Burlington? Burlington? This gentleman uh, was one of the first, uh, first ABC commissioner on the first board, which was appointed in March of 1934, uh, with two other gentlemen. And I'd like to add to that, uh, what do you bet? He was a white, the other two were white males also. Mm -hmm. Contrast that to the board of, the recent board of today, um, which are, was composed of three women, two of which um, are African American. Uh, one of my colleagues has just moved on to be a general district court judge in Chesterfield County, but uh, that's, we were the first all-woman board. And this is an early agent. Look at this him. This is an he agent. He looks tough. He's out of the Wild West. Yeah, like Wyatt Earp or something. He looks tough, but he's also a little dapper looking, too. I think he's really <laughs> styling there. Yeah. <laughs> and this is um, a steel bus. One of the things that our agents uh, did and still do is um, bus. Deals. This one was probably in Franklin County. I think that year, which was the early 40s, uh, ABC um, busted, uh, confiscated about 1,700 steals. Mm -hmm. Compare that to last year, which it was eight. Oh, wow. Interesting, interesting history. We got some uh, information that we want to get to. Yes. The viewers? See the history of the Virginia Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control at the Library of Virginia. The exhibit runs through June 20th and is free to the public. Check out artifacts from over 75 years, including priceless photos and 
even the first minute book of the ABC board. And get some advice on seeing the signs of alcohol misuse at the ABC seminar at VCU. It's called The Hidden Epidemic, Alcohol, Medication, and the Older Adult. It actually continues today until 4.30 this afternoon on VCU's campus in the University Student Commons. Hear from health care and social workers about signs and symptoms of misuse. Susan, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoyed right. it. Coming up next.